Hey, what's up guys? So I'm going to do a little video um, showing the process of uh, racing in this game, which is the way you progress through the story, unlock the next areas, unlock the next cars, um, all that kind of stuff. So basically you can see here, um, by the way, this stands for Roasted in Action. <laughs> um, I basically I'm in the next level so I'm at the bottom of this racing club basically the way you get to the next level is I'm so I'm on the second area uh, the first area you start at 20 you race people to work your way up to one you race for prestige I'll show you how that works and basically your goal is to get to the top um, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the street, I'm going to show you racing, and I'm going to basically just kind of show you how it works. Um, so in order to get a race, you honk until one of these people say something, you say, look, it's, the dialogue's the same every time. And they'll show up as that little dot. Um, the first level they showed up blue, now they show up red in this um, area. Okay, hang on, I need to turn the, the in-game the engine and the effects up a little bit okay I needed to hear something I didn't realize I turned it down that low okay watch what you're doing so now all you got to do is you got to go find this person um, and you'll see what happens when I get there that should be momentarily they're right up the street it'll be obvious as them because it's the only other modified looking car Oh, I know that this car can't turn, so... And so if you pull up close enough, sometimes you have to honk, and you'll click, I'm looking for a race, and it'll, you know, do its thing. So it's going to tell you your starting point. I always look and I plan out my map, where I'm going to go. So if it starts me this way, I know I'm going to go to the end, turn left, and turn right. I know if it sends me this way, I'm going to make it a right, and just go straight. And so you can have it race for, excuse me, just prestige, which you can see that they're ranked number 19, so beating them would take their ranking. Um, and I would get more prestige for it, or I can wager money on it, which I will wager no money on this. Um, you can also hit abandon, you can zoom out to see exactly where you're going. So this part of the map and this part of the map are the parts that I have unlocked. I have never unlocked this part, and I do not have this part unlocked. Uh, I might have that back. I don't have that backwards. That's 100% how it is. I don't think I've been over there. It's one of the two I haven't unlocked before. I want to say it's this one. But um, anyway, let's start the race and let's see what we do. So basically, you're just racing against them to the waypoint. I don't know. Are they immediately turning over there? I don't know why they're not racing me. They might be broken. Um, they're just straight up not moving. So this is super super easy usually they would actually you know race against you and you know be a threat but this one does not seem to be doing that um but your goal is just to be the first one to make it over here i should have bet money on this i could have won two grand um don't okay um and so i win it'll tell you if you won money if you won money and then if we go back to the garage and we go and we look and you look at the club info now i'm number 19 i took some prestige from them i'm now up it doesn't go in terms of prestige necessarily it goes in terms of ranking because you can see here's someone up here with less prestige than someone down here in fact than two people right here but at the same time there's someone with 34 way up here and there's all of these cars but this one that are higher than that so it just sort of depends um, and basically, um, when you do that, if you then try to race the same person, it'll generally say, no way, my ride needs a tune-up or whatever. Or if you lost, it'll let you race them again. Let's fix this while I'm at it. Um, did it wreck anything else? No, it did not. Um, oh, the bumper. Um, but yeah, that's sort of the basics. Um, and then you progress by getting all the way to the top, and it'll unlock the next area for you. And when you unlock the next area, that's how you get the next set of cars. This is not an original car. Um, there are four original models. Um, they're all very loosely based off of real cars, some more than others. Like the one I raced was very clearly a Catfish Camaro. Um, but that's sort of the basis of this. Um, and there really isn't much else to it. 
your goal is to just keep racing, keep racing, keep racing. Um, if your goal is to just power through everything, you can have multiple cheap cars, and you could just drive the piss out of them and just soup them up how you need to, but don't throw body parts back on it if you wreck it and all that kind of stuff. And that just gets you um, along the route to where you need to be. Let me just save real quick. Uh, I hope I hit save. We're going to wait because I can't see it hitting. I can't, uh, my recording thing is right in the way, so I actually can't see what it says. Um, but anyway, let's go back to Garage then. Um, but yeah, keep an eye out for more videos like this. I just wanted to record this little quickie just kind of showing you um, how one of the major mechanics of the game works in terms of progressing through the story. And that's about it. Um, let me know if you want to see more like this. Um, let me know what you want to see, and I will try my best to make it happen. Thanks.